Hello! A big, big welcome to this week's Sunday Club. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for your photos and your messages um, after you've done Sunday Club last week. It's really encouraging to see those, so thank you. Let's pray to God right now as we begin. Dear God, thank you that we don't have to guess who you are and what you're like. Thank you that just like you came down to speak to the people at the mountain in the story of the Exodus, thank you that you speak to us today through the Bible. Thank you that when we open up the Bible, we hear you speak to us. So please help us to listen to you today and to know you more and love you more. Amen. Amen. Our game today is called What Do You Love? the most. And here's how it works. In a moment, someone in your family or all of you together will need to gather five different items from your house. You can choose any five items you like. And here are the five items that we've chosen for our version of the game. We've got cereal, big green dinosaur, a CD, there's lots of music in this house. teapot and a pillow. Now this is how the game works. In a moment one person will have to put them in order, the order of what they love the most. So starting with the thing that they love more than anything else out of those five and going all the way down to the thing they love the least. And everyone else will have to try and guess what order they're going to put them in. Well we're going to have a go ourselves. So Hannah, Mm -hmm. I would like you to look at these five items and to think, yeah. what order would you put them in, the thing that you love the most? Okay. And I'm going to try and work out what it is. So, I know that you love tea, <laughs> but I think you might love sleeping more than you love tea. So I'm going to go for sleeping, and then I'm going to go for tea, and then I'm going to go for music, then cereal, and then dinosaurs. Let's see how well I know you. You know me very well because that is exactly the right order. Oh, fantastic. Well, we're going to have a turn in a moment while the video is paused. We'll swap round and I'll have a go to put them in order. But now it's your turn. So you might like to play it a few times to different people having a turn. Get the five items and put them in the order. What do you love the most? Let's pause the video and over to you now. Well, I hope you had a good time playing that game. It's good to find out how well you know each other, isn't it? It is. Now, it's time for today's clue box. Now, the clue box is rather tricky. Yeah. It's hard to guess what's inside it. And so, today, I'm feeling very generous. I'm going to give you lots of clues. Thank you. So first, I'm going to have to find out what's inside. Okay. Now... Your first clue is, the thing inside the clue box has got two eyes. Two eyes. Mm. A cat. No, it's not a cat. They've got very scary eyes. No cats in the clue box. So another clue. Okay, thank you. <laughs> two eyes and one nose. Ooh, a, something that's got a big nose is an elephant. <laughs> has an elephant got a big nose or is that a trunk? A nose, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure, but either way, it's <laughs> certainly not an elephant in the box. Okay. So, another clue two eyes, one nose, two arms, and two legs. Oh, I got it! It's a monkey! No, it's not a monkey! What? I wonder whether you've worked out what it is at home. Let me show you what's in today's clue box. We've got a person. Oh. Actually, <laughs> we've got lots of different people, three different people. So during today's story, that's the thing you're going to need to look out for. So you're going to need to look with your eyes and listen with your ears to see where different people come up in today's story. Okay. So I'm going to need my Bible. And as I start today's story, let me talk to God and ask for his help. Dear God, thank you that the Bible is your word. But to understand the Bible, to know more about you, we need your help. So please help us now. Amen. 
Over the last few weeks, we've been hearing true stories from the Bible book of Exodus, and God has shown us a little bit of what he's like, and it's been amazing. We've seen God's amazing love. God loves us before we live his way. And now that God's people have come to the mountain, we've started to see that God wants his people to be like him. That's why God has rescued his people, to be with him and to be like him. God wants his people to show love, love to him and love to others. And so God gives his people some instructions about showing love. I'm going to call them God's law of love. Now I've got a question and I'd like your help in answering it. My question is, who should I love? Now I've got some sweets here. And I want to share these sweets with my family. In my family, there's my wife, Hannah, and then there are my two sons, Stefan and Jesse. Who should I love and share my sweets with? What do you think? Should I share them with only Stefan because he has brown eyes like me? Should I only love Hannah because she's an adult like me? Or should I love everyone? Hannah, Stefan and Jesse. What do you think? Well, maybe God's law of love can help me. It talks about lots of different ways that we can show love. Let's have a look. What does God's law of love say? Judge Cook is ready. Next. Right, let me see. Who do we have here? Ah, you're a poor man, are you? Now, let me see. What have you done? Hmm. You dug a hole, did you? Nothing wrong with that. Ah, but you didn't cover it up. And your neighbour's donkey fell into it and died. Now your neighbour wants you punished. Hmm. What should I do? I could make you pay for a new donkey. But you are only a poor man and you don't have very much. Maybe I could take your side and let you off with no punishment. What do you at home think I should do? Maybe I should make him pay for a new donkey? Or should I take his side and let him off with no punishment? Tell me what you think. Well now, let me see what God's law of love says. Exodus chapter 23 verse 3. You must not take his side just because he is poor. Ah, this does help. I must not treat this man differently and take his side just because he's poor. God loves all of his people, rich and poor. I can show God's love to the man and to his neighbour by giving the right punishment. I'll make him pay for a new donkey. Next! Right. Who are you? You're a poor man too, are you? Now let me see. What have you done? Hmm. You started a fire to burn your weeds. Nothing wrong with that. Ah, but the fire spread and burned up your neighbour's field. Now your neighbour wants you punished. Hmm, what should I do? I could make you pay for a new field. But you are only a poor man, and your neighbour is very rich. If I'm kind to your neighbour, then he might be kind to me. Maybe I could make you pay your neighbour for ten new fields. What do you at home think I should do? Should I A, make him pay for one new field? Or B, Make him pay for ten new fields. Tell me what you think. Well, let me see what God's law of love says. Exodus chapter 23, verse 6. You must not be unfair to a poor man. Ah, this does help. 
I must not treat this man differently just because he's poor. I must not be unfair to him. God loves all of his people, rich and poor. I can show God's love to this man and to his neighbour by giving a right punishment. I'll make him pay for one new field. Next! When God gives his people his law of love, God is telling his people how they can love like him. God has great love. God doesn't look at his people and think, I'll love you because you're poor, or I'll love you because you're rich. The law of love shows us that God has great love. It doesn't matter what we are like, rich or poor, young or old, from one country or another. God loves all of his people in a special way. God's law of love shows us that God wants us to be like him. God wants us to love all of his people too. God wants us to love every Christian. It's like God says, don't look at Christians and choose who to love. Look at me and show love from above. This is why God has made us and rescued us, so that we can love him and show his love to others. But if we're honest, we've got a problem. Because there are times when we don't love like this. There are times when our love shrinks. Times when we don't give our love to God. When we don't give our love to other people. When we keep our love for ourselves. That's a problem because God's law of love says that we've done wrong and we deserve God's right punishment. What do you think God should do? A. Carry on as if nothing has happened. Or B. Send us away from him forever. What do you think? God gives a right punishment. The Bible says it's very serious when we don't live God's way. The Bible says that when we do things our own way, we deserve to be separated from God forever. But there is good news. When Jesus was dying on the cross, there was a criminal on the cross next to him, a man who had done lots of wrong things. The criminal said, we are getting the punishment that we deserve. But Jesus has done nothing wrong. And then he asked Jesus, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. What do you think Jesus said to him? A. No, criminals deserve to be punished. Or B. Yes, today you will be with me in paradise. What do you think? Jesus gave the criminal God's love. Today you will be with me in paradise. Amazing! But Jesus didn't ignore the punishment that the man deserved. Jesus loves people so much that even though he never did anything wrong, Jesus died and took the punishment that we deserve so that everyone who trusts him can be forgiven and can be with him forever. Jesus has great love. It doesn't matter what people are like, rich or poor, young or old, from one country or another. Jesus loves all of his people in a special way. What amazing love! Now, who do you think I should love and share my sweets with? What do you think? A. Only love Stefan because he has brown eyes like me. B. Only love Hannah because she's an adult like me. Or C. Love everyone. Hannah, Stefan and Jesse. What do you think? God's law of love says, don't look at Christians and choose who to love. Look at God and show love from above. God loves all of his people. 
I want to love all of God's people too. Let me pray and ask for God's help. Dear God, thank you that you have great love. Thank you that you have love for all of your people. Thank you that you forgive everyone who trusts in Jesus, whoever we are, whatever we're like. Please help us to remember your great love and to show special love to all of your people too. Amen. Well, Hannah, it's time for today's Missing Words Challenge. Yes. Um, I've got these words here. Can you hold them for me so I can see, everybody can see it? Okay. I'll read it through once and, and I'll read it through again and, it, and you can join in with me and fill in the blanks. You ready? I'm ready. God rescues his people to be with him and to be blank him. God's law of love tells us that God loves blank of his people. God wants us to love blank of his people too. Okay, have you guessed those words that need to be in there? Let's do it again. Ready to shout out this time. God rescues his people to be with him and to be him. God's law of love tells us that God loves of his people. God wants us to love of his people too. Wow, well done. Now it's over to you to retell the story together. In our story, we heard, don't look at Christians and choose who to love. Look at God and show love from above. Why don't you make your very own people chain like this? Make each person different and then talk together. Are there times when we look at different people and choose who to love? And ask each other, how can we be like God and show love to all of God's people? Like always, there are some discussion questions on the PDF that you might like to use. So pause the video now and retell today's story together as a family. Should I pause it? Mm. So when we play the game, um, what do you love the most? Um, it, it was really fun to find out what we love the most, but sometimes we can be like that with people at church. We might think, hmm, who do I love the most? And then we need to remember what God's law of love says. Don't look at Christians and choose who to love. Look at God and show love from above. As you get ready to pray, you might like to take your people chain and draw hearts on the other side of each person to remind you that God loves all of his people. As you spend time praying, ask God to help you love other Christians, other Christians in our church and other Christians around the world. So why don't we do that now? Pause the video and pray to God. So how can we remember what we've heard today? Well, last week we put up a heart on our mirror to help us remember God's amazing love, that God loves us before we live his way. And this week, we're going to stick our people chain next to our heart. So when we're brushing our teeth, we can ask God in our heads and to help us show his love to everybody. It will help us remember God's law of love when it says, don't look at Christians and choose who to love. Look at God and show love from above. We don't want to love only some of God's people. God wants us to love all of God's people, to love all Christians. And help us remember that as well. We've got a song. It's a song that we've sung before, so join in. You ready? I'm ready. It's called A New Command. Ready. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, you must love one another. 
By this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. A little bit faster now. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, you must love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Okay, faster. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, you must love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. I don't think I can go any faster than that. Maybe you can at home. Let's pray to God. Father God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you show love to all of us. And thank you that you love your people in a special way. Thank you that you have given us your spirit to give us new hearts. Hearts that can grow to love you more and love other people more. Please with your spirit help us today and this week to show love to you and to your people. Amen. Amen. Right, it's time for us to sign off for another week. And so from Hannah and me, it's a big bye. bye.